Welcome back, it's been a while. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about right now. I wanna to talk to you about UiPath while loop. So I'm gonna start off by creating a UiPath while loop example. I'm just gonna call it UiPath while loop example. And not too much is gonna happen here. I am just gonna create a blank process, open the main workflow. When I open the main workflow, I'm going to drag a while loop onto the white space. And so here's my while loop here. The while loop has a couple of elements to it. The first part is the condition. It has to be something that evaluates to true or false. And then there's the body of the UiPath while loop, which is just all the logic that you want to implement. The logic that I'm going to implement isn't going to be too complicated. I'm just going to throw a message box on here that says, you are in the UiPath while loop. I'll leave the complicated RPA automations up to you. I just want to prove out how the UI path while loop actually works. Now, there is a requirement with a while loop. In order for a while loop to be entered, a condition has to be true. You can contrast that against the UI path do while loop, where with the do while loop, that loop is always entered once and then the condition is checked at the end of it. With a while loop, if the condition isn't true to start off with, the while loop is never entered. Now you do need to have a condition, and conditions are usually generated by evaluating variables. So I'm just gonna create a variable here called user input, and then that's gonna be a string variable, and that's gonna have scope for the entire sequence. So I want it visible everywhere inside of the while loop and outside of the while loop as well. And the user input is really going to be just answering the question, do you want to continue the loop or not? And so the default value that I'm going to set is yes. And so you can see here, I've got that variable. Its default value is yes. And in the condition, I can just check that. So I can say, hey, is the user input equal to my favorite band? Yes. And if it is, this while loop will run. Now, when you've got a while loop, you've got to have something happen inside the while loop that's going to flip the Boolean state of the condition from true to false. Otherwise, you end up with an infinite loop. So what I want to do next is just take input from the user. So I'll drag a user input dialog box over here. I don't know, maybe the title will be welcome UI path while loop lovers i don't know and then the input will just be do you want to continue the loop and then instead of a text box i'm going to do multiple choices is pretty cool with multiple choice you can just uh, write a bunch of text inside double quotes separate it with a semicolon and then those become the options so i can say yes semicolon no and then that'll actually generate an input dialog box with radio buttons for yes or no. Depending on which was clicked, the value that's clicked will be assigned to, while well, the variable that's associated with the input dialog, which of course is gonna be this user input variable here. So I can either specify that in value entered, or I could specify that as result, either way. There we go, I could specify it there. You notice that it pops up in this window. And now, I have a very handsome while loop. I've got a variable user input. We check to see if user input is yes. If it is, we print out, hey, you are in the while loop. If, uh, and then after we've done that, we then ask, hey, do you want to continue? And it keeps continuing until we click yes. So there we go. Save that UI path while loop example, click run. The loop is entered and we see, hey, you are in the UI path while loop. We click OK and we get the message box. Do you want to continue the loop? Yes, I'm having fun with this UI path while loop. OK, you're in the while loop. Do you want to continue the UI path while loop? Yes, I do. Click OK. You are in the while loop. I'm getting a little bored now. I want to exit the UI path while loop. So I say no and then that should terminate the application. And that terminates the application because the condition of the UI path while loop becomes false. And if the condition of the while loop is false, 
the while loop exit and then logic after the while loop picks up. And there you go. That's an example of how to use the UiPath while loop.